everybody, Chase Larson here with Badger Sports and Magazine. Today we're going to show you a how-to video uh, on how to make a stinger hook. Uh, a lot of guys right now, it's spring. We've had some, uh, some cold weather the past couple of weeks and right now is really starting to ramp up um, as far as temps go and as far as the spring walleye run goes. So a lot of people are using stinger hooks on their rigs uh, to catch the lighter bite fish for the spring run. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you exactly what you need as far as equipment and materials go and how to do it uh, to rig up a stinger hook rig. So with that being said guys, the first thing that you need is, you know, I just went to the store, I think the total was $13 and I'm going to be able to make 25 stinger hooks. Um, you know, a lot of these things when you go and buy it from other companies, they run between two and three bucks a piece or, or for a pack of two. So you're going to be saving a lot of money and uh, it's kind of fun, especially right now. Uh, with that being said guys, you know, the first thing that you need here are treble hooks. Pick these up. I think this was the most expensive thing. It was eight bucks, six to eight dollars, depending on which one, which brand you get. But uh, you want size 12 or size 10 treble hooks, um, depending on your preference and what style you're fishing. The second thing you guys need is number one leader sleeves. Uh, you can pick these up. I think they're three bucks at Flea Farm, and they come in 36 packs. So you can mess up a couple times, um, but I mean, with however many you're gonna make, you're gonna make upwards of 30 or you're gonna make upwards of 25 depending on how many treble hooks you buy and how much, you know, how ambitious you feel. Once you have your leader sleeves, the only thing left that you need is line. Um, I'm running the Trilene 10 pound test line. I've had this uh, for quite a while. This is just my backup line that I have for making rigs like this or crawler harnesses and stuff like that. Um, you know, people, people run six to 10, six to 12 pound test on these things. Um, you know, I, I find it to be right in the middle. Eight to 10 pound is gonna be great, especially if you hook into a nicer, um, you know, heavier, bigger fish. So now that we have the three components um, or materials that you need to make these rigs, the second thing and most important piece of equipment that you need to make is this thing right here. Everybody has some spare wood and spare nails um, hiding around the house. What you wanna do is you wanna grab one, one nail and you want to just put it anywhere in on the wood. So once you have you know, your first nail in and the head of that nail is, is uh, cut off, the second thing that you need to do is hammer your second nail in uh, to two and a half inches long. So the, the reason behind this is that that's pretty much a universal or standard length, I guess, for your stinger hooks. Uh, and that's where the two and a half inches comes from. What I like to do is I like to take my line um, eight inches should be plenty, so I'll just measure up eight inches. I'll cut it, and I'll be able to grab a treble hook, and then you just make a knot, uh, whichever knot you prefer. Um, I like to make a, a polymer knot. It's quick, easy, and uh, it's one of my favorite knots to make, and it's super, super strong. Now once you have that figured out, you wanna grab a leader, and you wanna throw that on the tag end here. Next thing you want to do is you want to loop it back through on the tag end like this so you can see how we have the loop, right? And this is where the fun part happens right here. So once you get this looped in like so, you can see that I have the loop right here at my hook at the other end. What we're going to do is we're going to take this hook, put it on the end of this first nail, grab your tag end, and we're going to pull, put it right around that first that first nail head. And the reason why we're doing this is to make it not only straight, but we're measuring it out so it can be consistent. Now, what you wanna do is you just wanna tie an overhand knot. So you tie an overhand knot on your extra tag end here, but you don't wanna tight, tighten it down. You just wanna make it loose, right? Okay, so I have my overhand knot now, and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to my leader. And you just wanna pull it right up to that knot, right down to the leader. Now you can make one or two different knots, but one knot should be enough to cover up that hole uh, for your leader to move freely back and forth. Um, so you'll just cut the tag end off here, take it off your rig, and there you go. That is your stinger hook. Guys, it literally takes 30 seconds to a minute to make one of these. Uh, you're saving a lot of money. 
Um, with going to the store and buying them, you know, I'll be able to iron out all 25 of these here in the next, you know, 20 minutes or so. And the, and the cool thing about this rig is, is, you know, you're not crimping it down, so you're able to move this freely or tighten it up, uh, the loop, um, onto your hook or onto your jig or whatever you need it for. With that being said, guys, that's pretty much how you make a stinger hook rig. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Uh, easy to do and hopefully it'll make you guys a little bit more successful on your next adventure So if you guys haven't checked us out click those links below see what we're all about and hopefully we'll be able to uh, Do more videos like this in the future. So if you guys have any ideas on uh, or any questions on different videos You want us to make or any questions on this rig in particular for this video Please shoot us a text. Please uh, comment down below and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have. So with that being said, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and you've heard it here with Badger Sportsman.